Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm an artist instructor at the Art Gallery of Ontario. I love art that has a connection to nature. Today we're going to be doing a project called Hanging Paper Gardens. It's a paper sculpture project that lets us bring some nature inside. So these are the materials that you'll need to complete this project. Um, I have some paper that I've cut into strips. They're two centimeters wide. Doesn't matter how big they are as long as they're all the same. Scissors, a glue stick, string, a pen, and then from this side over, these are bonus things. If you don't have them, that's okay. If you do, great. A stapler, a hole punch, and paper clips. On the tray in front of me, I've made some basic shapes. These are the shapes that you're going to use to build your hanging paper garden. The first shape that we're going to look at is this uh, teardrop shape. I'll show you how to make that one first. I'm gonna take a paper strip and I'm gonna put glue on one end and then I'm going to gently uh, bend the paper so those two ends meet each other and I'm gonna pinch so that glue sticks and there we have that shape. This shape can be transformed into some of the more geometric shapes that I have. So here's that leaf. Um, if you fold and kind of push it up, then you get more of this pointy leaf shape. You can push and fold again on either side. And now you get more of that geometric leaf shape. We also have a circle. And that circle can be transformed with the same kind of folds into a square. I have a spiral that I made by wrapping my paper strip around my pen. And then a more geometric spiral, which was made by gently folding the paper instead of wrapping around the pen. And finally, um, a zigzag, which I just made with a, an accordion fold folding back and forth. So let's get into assembling our hanging paper garden. You're going to take one of your long strips. This is going to be the central spine of your sculpture that you're going to build out from. And you're going to glue your shapes onto this strip. So I'm going to add a little bit of glue and press. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side with your next shape. And this way you're going to build out and continue along your strip. If you find that you want it to be longer, you can always glue or staple another strip onto the end. If your shapes um, need a little bit of help staying on there with the glue until it's dry, you can add a paper clip to help you secure that. Um, once you've finished, we'll go back to our examples, um, you'll punch a hole at the top or poke a hole with a sharp uh, pen or a pencil, be careful doing this, thread your string through and then this will give you your hanging paper garden. I have some other examples to show you. You can get really creative when you start to combine different shapes and different colors. Here I've made something that maybe looks like it's from a Dr. Seuss book. Lots of colors, lots of shapes. You might have only one color of paper at home and that's fine too. I've made an amazing one just using craft paper. Get creative. I'm sure you can come up with some really great hanging paper gardens. I hope you try this project. And if you do, be sure to post your creations online and tag us at AGO Mix. Thanks for watching.